tonight from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Cowboys taking on the Washington football team. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the Washington football team. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Meanwhile, for visiting Washington, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. the goal line and he'll be stopped up at the 25 now whistles and we've got a man down a man down here following the kickoff well he gets attended to he'll step aside And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Now, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive, and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them, thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early, because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. So out come the Cowboys under head coach Mike McCarthy. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team that wins. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Four catches, 55 yards, and a touchdown. This defense is ranked near the bottom of the league against the pass. You get the sense that he feels like if he gets covered on any call, he's going to be upset. He thinks he should be open on every snap in this game. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. 
My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? Now this one complete on the slant route. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44 yard line. Now a give right side. Ratliff. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now this Washington defense, Charles, terrific in the victory a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Chase Young, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Well, competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. How about five sacks last week? We just saw their first one of this game. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Looking to throw. Nash. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 23. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and then connected there and picked up a first down. First down, Ratliff, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers play up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, it has to be pinpoint here. I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Tackling's obviously critical down near the goal line. That was great work there to make the hit behind the line and make sure he doesn't get any further. Did a really nice job wrapping up and not letting him loose. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Nash. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way. And they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good. And we're seeing it early in this one. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. The 
the kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. The tight end, David Njoku, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Play action. Altman. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Jadevian Clowney, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. So a first quarter sack, and remember, keep in mind, he had two sacks in last week's game. And it's always intriguing to me to watch these great pass rushers because some of them, they need their teammates to scheme for them, maybe occupy people and make it a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Other guys, they just defeat everything in front of them. To get two sacks in a game, it's a little bit of both for you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. A punt of 46, a return of five. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Looking to throw. Nash. Forced out to his left. Defensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run on first down. Ratliff. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Back to throw. Nash. He finds his man complete. It's Richards. That catch good for five. It's third down. Looking to throw. Nash. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw. Nash. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 
this drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. On first down, Ratliff. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get it. Touchdown, Cowboys! A great effort there. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Cowboys are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. good and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive and it ends with a one yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing to start the drive, Altman. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards to pick up there. To throw on second down. Altman firing quickly here, and that's complete. Throwing on first down. Altman. And he will go down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. When you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Operating from the gun. Altman into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 32. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. They'll run on first down. Ratliff, and they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 45 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, 
They've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Watch 18. 18 the mic. Looking to throw. Nash. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second and two. First down marker at the five yard line. Back to throw. Nash. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him. An incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking to throw. Altman, quick hitter here. It's complete. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But Washington looked to get this one back, and indeed they did. They will still have possession. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, Altman. Under pressure, they got him again. Jadevian Clowney in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forgive the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them? That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Back to throw. Altman. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Washington. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. 
the leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. On first and ten, Nash. And he will find his man on the end round, complete. Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45 yard line. Looking to throw. Nash throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Eight more yards this time coming off back to back first down pickups. the play fake Nash and his throw is going to be incomplete the Cowboys on third down they've been near perfect four for five to this point here it's third and two and they'll try and run the option to pick it up wiggles free and they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. First down, Ratliff, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Back to throw. Nash, and a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Looking to throw. Nash. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. And the sack leads to roughly a loss of six, and it brings up second and goal. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now a give, right side, Ratliff. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Well, they went back to him, but the results were similar, so I highly doubt that he'll get another opportunity here on third and long. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Back to throw. Nash. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And his kick here is good. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So no touchdown that time, but they do get three more, and now they have even more of a cushion. It's been a terrific first half offensively, so it's hard to blame them for not getting into the end zone there. 
but the way they've been moving the ball in this one, I don't think these will be their final points of the game. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And what would you say? Is it the offensive line that has caused a lot of this pressure to get back there? That's always the first place that you have to look to see what's going on. But part of it is it is so difficult to simulate this type of pass rush in practice because the speed, the ferocity, the quickness, some of the change-ups and, and, and how they get at the quarterback that you may not have seen on film. All that is different. You can practice it as much as you want to. You can even insert smaller, faster guys at positions to show that the speed's going to be quicker. But until the whistle blows and you play for real, it's just not the same. And not as easy to implement on game day. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. Looking to throw, Altman. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Off play action, Altman. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Back to throw. Altman shoves him aside. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Washington on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Looking to throw. Altman. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. to throw from his end zone. Nash, and it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Now a give, right side. Ratliff trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two, and he is gonna get the first down, it looks like, as he's up to the 12. Well, Martin, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's gotta get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Gonna give this time to the tailback. 
And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Back to throw. Nash. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot, letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. They go play action here on first down. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A good first down call as the screenplay gets him nine. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Back to throw again. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. The throw over the middle taken in. And they'll get this down to the 10. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now a stoppage, and oh boy, we've got Mayfield shaken up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Off the play fake, Nash. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. Only three yards there on the completion, that'll lead to a third and goal. Operating from the gun, Nash. Throwing it a traffic there and that's complete. And Washington now gonna use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And Washington is able to come up with a goal line stand. Antonio Gibson and the Washington offense ready to go here once more. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Looking to throw on second down. Altman. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Cowboys going to use 
their second timeout now. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo, where it was the visiting Dolphins who come away victorious on the road. Tua Tungavailoa, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, we're off to check out another game, and they were winners in that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Ezekiel Elliott, a touchdown run in the victory. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley. Let's check on the 49ers at home at Levi Stadium. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow, terrific in the victory as his guys move their record to 9-4 on the year. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expecting to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Looking to throw. Nash. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. This will wind up a loss on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Oh, we're always talking about the athleticism we see from these guys on the field. How about the intelligence as well? He recognized that there was a screen pass on that one, broke off his pass rush, and got back to tackle the running back. That's great scouting and great reaction. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will up the score now. It's 23 zip. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. 
First possession of the second half now for Washington. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot positions. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. To throw on second down. Altman. This is the tight end to Joku. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll run on first down. Mooney. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. From the gun. Altman throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. From the gun on third down, Altman. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. On first down, Ratliff. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Off play action, Nash. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Back to throw, Nash. He's gonna flip one out here to his running back. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. On second down, Ratliff. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. They'll keep it on the ground. Ratliff, and he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who gets you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. First down, Ratliff, and they're able to get this one across the 35. 80 yards on the ground for him so far. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. First down, Nash firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Looking to throw on second down. Nash going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. 
the big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Nash. Quick hitter here. It's complete. A gain of six there on first. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second and four. He's going to try and do this himself. Able to slither by. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize his legs instead of the arm. It works out pretty well. I like what they were thinking there because in most situations now, defense is accounting for all the other runners on the field and, of course, for pass plays. But the quarterback position, oftentimes it is unaccounted for. Offense coordinator felt it, dialed it right up. Inside the red zone, is this something teams should maybe, depending on the quarterback, do more often? Definitely. If you've got a quarterback who can actually move it with his legs, that's an extra option and an extra weapon for you. I think they should utilize it more often. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Washington offense going back to work. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, that they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Washington. A big play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. Well, if they're gonna make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Lutz good on the extra point, and that will shave a bit off the lead as it's down to a 23-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Ratliff, and tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. From the gun on third down, Nash. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? You go with a, try go with the quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Now a throw here, hauled in. 
Seven yards to pick up there. On second down now, Ratliff. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. To throw on second down, Nash. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 35. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Back to throw, Nash. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well, and they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill him for a loss. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Now that was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom, he took advantage of it. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Farrell, and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run, making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle, no running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And the lead is now an even 30. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And in the end, the finishing touch in 11-yard.